Hello, this is Brian Casey, Editor-in-Chief of AntMini.com, and we're here at the 2015 edition of the RSNA meeting in Chicago. Uh, we have with us today Dr. Eric Ranschert at Euro and Bosch Hospital in the Netherlands, and Dr. Uh, ben Terrigan of Children's Hospital at Montefiore. Um, we've got a, a kind of an interesting uh, subject here to bring you. It's a, a Lego model of an MRI suite, and it's being uh, demonstrated here at RSNA, and, uh, Dr. Rancher and Dr. Terrigan uh, is, are going to tell us a little bit about uh, why it was designed and what it's uh, for. Uh, gentlemen, thanks for being with us. You're Thank welcome, you. Brian. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what exactly we're looking at and, and what it's supposed to do? Um, so, what we're looking at is a scale model of an MRI suite, um, which came about uh, through a collaboration with myself and Eric. Uh, our goal is to be able to distribute both larger and smaller kits to children's hospitals and to help those hospitals uh, develop programs to use these kits to ease the tension and anxiety of uh, pediatric patients prior to MRI. So kids can, can be, uh, an MR scanner can be pretty intimidating to kids. It means intimidating to adults as well, but for kids in particular, um, it can really be uh, intimidating. And so what sort of things do you see right now uh, in terms of kids approaching scans that they have to have? Well, in some hospitals, they do prepare the, the children before they undergo MRI examination. One of the things they do is, for example, bring a visit to the MRI unit or the and uh, just to show them how it works. Another thing, in some cases, the children are not sedated enough, so they have to administer admin medication to uh, keep the children more calm so that they can do the examination appropriately. So this is one of the reasons why we uh, wanted to uh, introduce this as a way to uh, you as a way to uh, reduce sedation and medication for children before they undergo MRI examination. Okay. And are you currently using this in practice? So uh, the first model which um, I built with my son about a year and a half ago, uh, which is not as elaborate as this one, uh, we have been using at Children's Hospital at Montefiore. Um, and actually our child life therapists can, it's portable enough that they can bring it around to the floor and show patients what it looks like. Our goal is to make these kits available to children's hospitals around the world um, so that it's not something that they need to recreate every time that uh, they have an idea, oh, that would be good for our department. Okay. The nice thing about it is that actually this is main, made of two parts. There's the, the big MRI unit and then there's the smaller one, which is the scanner. Wow. And the idea is to provide or to we would like hospitals to be able to provide this as a gift to children so that they can play with it before they undergo the examination or even afterwards, you know, when they have to, uh, let's say, overcome the fact that they have gotten this MRI. So it, it makes it more interactive. So this is one of the goals that we would like to achieve with this model. This is a great idea. And uh, how many pieces are in the Lego? The large kit has 349 pieces, which is the entire uh, kit we're seeing here. The smaller kit, if I remember properly, has 149 pieces. Yes. But uh, I'll have to look at that again. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. And are you working with a vendor on, on, on getting wider distribution for this? Yes. Of course, we would like, this is the first concept of our uh, um, MRI suite, and uh, we would like to improve it. So there will be things that we still have to change and to obtain this uh, to to be able to improve it, we will have to test it. So we have developed several tests to evaluate this model, and uh, as soon as we think it's, it's a good concept to work with, we will distribute it through uh, a number of hospitals so that they can test it on a, on a wide scale, on a larger scale. So yes, we do have, uh, a lot of uh, children's hospitals are already interested in this model, yeah. and they would like to go further with it and really test it. Um, I also, you know, Eric and I feel a, a tremendous debt of gratitude to uh, Dirk Doniel, uh, who is a LEGO certified professional and has helped us with developing this and putting together the initial kits. Uh, and if people have additional interest, uh, we're available online. You can email us at uh, drmrilego uh, at gmail.com. Uh, and we are around at RSNA. Uh, you can ask for information at the Philips booth, although Philips is not an official sponsor of this item at this time. 
That's right. All right. Guys, great idea. Thanks for being with us today. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Signing off for Aunt Minnie, this is Brian Casey.